idea in the first place. Yeah, to take the balls, nothing else. Did Isaiah mention anything about balls, eh? Did he? He said something about them to me. He also said he'd bring tears to me eyes. I told you, didn't I? I told you in the friggin' house. She, she wouldn't have had the nerve to report us for doing that. But the minute you robbed the slightest thing that was theirs, you may as well have took the whole house brick by brick. It was her, laughing at me dad like that on the zebra crossing. I wanted to kill her. You know, like, really, really kill her. Since when is a portable telly? Three ducks. And a paint never killed anyone. And a tin of spam. You could have poisoned a spam, mad dog. Now, shut up, Mooey. You snitched on us anyway. No one ever. They picked you up first. You must have told them. They, they knew more about it than I did. Yeah, I'm not surprised. If the rubber shoe were coming out, we're in the toilets and eating to go by, mad dog. Probably half the estate knew before the lease themselves found out. And if you think that's doing something big, I never you might said well... anything about the robin. I swear I didn't. I, I wanted to, but yeah. And while we're at it, thanks for the escort down to Waterspool Prom. Much appreciated. You'll find out how much later. It was a joke. And if you hadn't made a fool of me in the toilet, I wouldn't have done it, would I? It's you who the joke. The pair of you. And if you really want to know. The only reason I knocked the boat is because you made me look good. <laughs> Didn't work then, did it? <laughs> <laughs> Mad dog, you could make a motorway accident look good. Now, now, ladies. I am happy to announce that the forensic evidence, combined with your touching little statements of guilt... I never robbed nothing. Be quiet, scumbag. Put together means that you are well and truly nicked, as they say, and you will duly appear in court. And then, with a little bit of luck, depending on if I can arrange who the magistrate is, you will be put away. Or you will anyway, Scully. <laughs> Happy days, eh? We're trying to find your parents, but there's an awful lot of pubs on this estate. Oh, that reminds me, Scully. We found your father. He's down there now, drunk and disorderly. Yeah, yeah, all right. Big deal. So what happens now? Oh. A nice, long wait. Unfortunately, without refreshments of any kind or place to lay your weary heads while we scour the estate for your parents, eventually. But we're a bit busy at the moment and we can't spare anyone. We may be a bit quieter around about. Five in the morning. We'll try then, eh? Me mum will be in a labour club. Not at five in the morning, she won't. I want to see her. Now! You could always try and escape. You know, for every policeman like you, Isaiah... Don't you call me that. You know, for every policeman like you... There's probably another 50 just wandering around, doing no harm to no-one. You know, just doing the job of keeping the peace. But none of them stand a chance. Because of dickheads like you. You know, that would have made me very angry once. Very angry indeed, because 
That was not nice. What I would have expected from a foul-mouthed little nomad like you, Scully, but still, not nice. But it doesn't matter now, does it? Not now. I mean, why should I get angry now? Oh, incidentally, why don't you confess to all the rest while you're here? Might help you out later on. The rest of what? Ah, the 17 other burglaries that bear all the hallmarks of last night's little effort. I go and play with your truncheon, will you? Amazing similarities, really. Same type of entry, same time of night, same type of things taken. Including the tin of spam? I'm sure it was you, lads. I'm dead certain. Get lost. How about them, lads? Do you want to confess now? Well, it wasn't us. You know it wasn't us. I mean, let's just say, like, Let's put it this way. Suppose you two were to confess to all those other robberies and you were to... Suppose you two were to confess to all those other robberies and you were to implicate... What? Implicate, it means a frame, really. And you were to implicate your friend of mine, sweet little Francis over there. Now, I might just find it in my power to blow in a few ears, tell him how you were led astray by someone or other. What good little boys you are, really. I'm sure the powers that be would take a very lenient view. I mean, boys, after all, there didn't seem to be any love lost when I came in. But we didn't do them. It doesn't matter. You'd get a suspended sentence. Small fine, smaller payments, soon forgotten. Soon arranged to be forgotten. And he'd get done for her. Seventeen burglaries. I don't know, like. Never done anything like this before. But, eh. Uh... Yeah, go, go. Well, I don't. I, I don't really know how to say it. It's dead easy. You just say it. Fair enough. Piss off, Isaiah. <laughs> Enter. Sergeant, there's a couple of women at the desk. You better see them now. You'll do more than see me, you bent bastards. I'm not here for the good of me health, you know. Amazing how characteristics run in a family, isn't it? You've just done something big, my dog. You managed to join all the letters together. And you got a full stop as well. What are you going to do to raise the surety, Mrs. Scully? Sell the portable television? Say that when there's witnesses about Scarface. 
I wouldn't dream of doing such a thing, madam. Of course you wouldn't. Is that it now? For the time being, yeah. What about me? Oh, poor chap. He doesn't seem to have anyone willing to stand surety for him. What a shame, I say. A reflection on the state of our society, that's what I say. Have a nice time, Mike. Oh, rest assured, Mrs. Scully. We will provide him with the finest service available. I will see to it myself personally. Get inside there, pea brain, and stay in there! Talk yourself out of this one, Moo. If I know Mooey, that's exactly what he's gonna do. Unless you can afford 50 pounds, Mally, don't bother. I haven't even got 50 pence. I had to walk all the way from Otter's Pool. I knew where you were, though. I followed a trail of talcum powder. Look, I I'm sorry. You know about leaving you like that. As I remember it, you didn't have much option, did you? Have a good trial, Francis. The football kind, that is. Where are you going to get 50 pounds from? I'm not going to have to get any money from anywhere. Not unless you run away, and you're not going to do that, are you? Well, 50 quid, where are you going to get that? Never you mind. What I do? Well, don't. Did you rob anything? No. Not a sausage. Or a tin of spam. I did break in, though. You've had it, then? I know. Stupid. Absolutely, man. Totally, utterly, completely stupid. You see, the problem was, I thought it was foolproof, but the others proved me wrong. Well, better get your head down when you get in. Big day tomorrow. Come on, listen to me, sir. Don't listen. It's going to be difficult for us. Well, for you. But, eh, uh, all right, ma'am. I'll see you then, Rita. You'll understand one day, Rita. I call upon Mr. Bob Paisley to announce the Young Player of the Year for 1984. Bob. The Young Player of the Year for 1984, I'm delighted to say, is a Liverpool player, Francis Scully. Basically, I'd like to thank everyone, uh, the boss, the wide need to play for Liverpool. He's done a lot for me since then. But most of all, I'd like to thank the lads. Thank you very much. Turning the town red. Turning the town red. Good on. You hear about last night then? Trouble? Yes, I heard. 
Fans? Mm. As you should know, in this country, a man should be presumed innocent until proved guilty. But I am guilty. Well, sort of. Yeah, I know. Never seen so many games of football in the schoolyard. Afternoon, sir. Nice day for it, Francis. How's the pantomime going, sir? It'll be the highlight of the year, that will. Well, all those concerned should be congratulated. That's the sort of thing what makes the school tick. Talk. Uh, <laughs> it's good to see lads like uh, young Francis here, despite their problems, using their energy, extending their range. Rover. Range. Range Rover. <laughs> Come here, <laughs> Come here, Rover. One thing's for certain, Mr. Stevens. Young Francis here, all the confidence in the world. That's what he's got. We all have our ups and downs. Francis has had several. But you can be certain on the first night, have no fear. This lad won't be nervous. Shake down. Wally! Wally, I think I'm cracking up. Up, down. You shake it all around. Wally! Wally, I think you're All the very best for tonight, son. Anytime you want to use the gymnasium in the future, I'm your man. I'll always be here. There. I'm everywhere. Yeah. Watching each day, I'll tell you, changing my life with a wave of a hand. Nobody can deny. Good luck, Joanna. Look, you know you said you were too busy with the pantomime, so like. And I'm busy as well. In more ways than one. Yeah, but. Well, you know when this is all over. Would you fancy going out with me then? Hey. I don't think so. I always make it a rule never to come between court and couples. See ya. Mission win! Don't know where, don't know when, but I know we only take in some sunny day. Smiling through, just like you always do. Till the blue skies meet the dark clouds far away. I know that you'll say hello to the folks that I know. Will any of the others know each other at this trial? Yeah, one or two will, but they won't know many. Your team, the trialists, will probably play Liverpool's youth team. They'll know each other, so it'll be a hard game. But don't worry, it'll be hard for all the others as well. Get up there. Two girls over the top. Hello, Kenny. Carry on. Hey, Long. Scully. All right, lads, listen now. A few words of advice. Remember how we play here at Liverpool. It's a team game. Not an opportunity for fancy pants and posers to show off. No one's going to be at all impressed by nutmegs and tricks. Just do the simple things today. All right?
Being a dream, nothing but a sudden dream. Gary, why were you there in the first place, eh? Hey? hey, you bastard! You bastard! You bastard! Hey, come, come away! Come away! Teddy, get on with the game. Come on, lad. Leave it all. Come on. Keep it going. Off you go. Boy, all right. I was going to be just like you. Yeah, he's fine. You knew, didn't you, Steve? You knew all along I was no good. You're not no good. Don't think that. It's just a... Yeah, yeah, all right. Leave out the missing words. I'm filling in for myself. Next time you want to destroy some dreams, Steve, pick on someone else. I thought I was doing the right thing. I was trying to. I was meant to help. Join the Samaritans. But you know what you are good at, Scully? All right, Skull. Uh, we were just looking for you. You coming or what? No, thanks. It's a Shetland, Skull. Go on the Shetlands. You were? They get for oil. And pullovers. With you and a Ronnie Biggs, lad. He went to Brazil, not the north of friggin' Scotland. Oh, so that's... So it's a start, Skull. And a finish. I told you it wasn't Southern Ireland. If we can get a start, make some fast money. We can go anywhere we want with no-one to stop us. And no-one would need to know who we are. Or what we've done, we can all adopt new identity kits. You cracked. You must be. You'll never make it, and even if you do, there'd be nothing's on for you. Look, anything's better than being stuck around here waiting to be put away. You'd be missed in no time. No, we won't. I've got a plan. It's Saturday tomorrow, right? The law won't even know we've gone till Monday when we've got a report to the cop shop. They might not even bother looking for us till Tuesday. That's at least three old days. See, brains. I don't know. Nah. Chicken. And donkeys. There's donkeys in the Shetland, Skull. Ponies. Anyway, I haven't got any money. We've well, got some. I haven't. 
Who stole me chips? I will lend you some. Pay us back out of your first week's wages on the oil. Uh, you won't miss it out of 250 quid. <laughs> All right. All right, you don't have to come. We've got a map. Just think we used to look up to you once. Come on. Shut up, will ya? I hate you too. Don't talk to me like that, bitch. I'm a man. You're a freaking man. You're not a man. Speak to me. Anything. Anything sane, normal, reasonable. Speak to me. Uh, British Rail regret to announce the loss of the Liverpool Pullman. One of our, one of our trains is missing. Warrington and Birmingham. Just a thousand miles to the south, that's all. Yes. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hang about, boys. Where are you going? Yeah, do you know the Shetlands where the oil is? Oh, uh, I'm not much used to you there. Glasgow's as far as I'm going, and no further. It's all right, mister. We're going to see Celtic play. But, Sonny, the Shetlands are a long way from Glasgow. Yeah, don't you know nothing? Yeah, uh, but it doesn't matter, pal. There's no panic. We'll start work on Monday. Come on, Just to cheer you, son. I can't take any more. Ah, oh, well, eh, uh, stop. You'll catch us up on the road. Yes. We'll wait for you eh, in Glasgow, all right? Yeah, deaf old boys. See you there, at the match. Last one stinks. <laughs> what are you doing that for, Scum? No, it's uh, just a message for the dogs, that's all. with them no more, Scott. You should say that, lad. I know. So what's your ask? So that you won't hit me when I tell you what they said about you behind your back. Oh, why? Yeah, uh, they didn't want you to come with us to see them donkeys, you know. They said they were going to go without you, but I... You didn't want to get there, won't we? Well, uh, I, I think so. Well, any more bits of gossip while you're at it? Um, no. Come on, you might as well tell me. I won't get upset. Are you certain we're not friends with them anymore? Because I still won't be friends with you in a minute. Well, um, do is the paint, Skull. What friggin' paint? Um, the paint they used to write all them dirty things about you and our Mary on the walls. Hey, no! Get off, it's me only shit! Who told you? Who told you? Come on! How do you know? Because, uh, I helped them, Scott. You...
Wait till I see them. We'll see them tomorrow. Will we? Oh, don't get me muddle skull. I thought we were going to meet them in Celtic. Mike, yeah. you won't tell them it was me, will you? Let me ask you this, mate. How much money you got on you? I haven't got any money on me, school. Well, there you are, then. Neither have I. But he said you didn't have to pay for your donkey rides up there. He said it was free. And you get cheap pullovers and all. Yes. No. Say a prayer over it. Oh, God in heaven. Well, you can say the prayer if you want, I don't mind. The cook is on. I know. Oh. Oh. That was the last pie as well. What's the matter with you, Tony? Who, me? Married. You what? You had. Bloody hell. When? A week on Saturday. Have you drunk one? Does Rita's mum and dad know about it? No. This will finish Rita's career, you know. No one will want to fight a pregnant wrestler. You told me, man. I told her last night. Well, you'll have to tell Rita's man and dad soon. No, I won't. I've just told Rita. She can tell him. You mean she doesn't know she's pregnant? Rita isn't pregnant, Francis. I'm not marrying her. Mrs. Barrett. I'm marrying Mrs. Barrett. Go away, will you? You have me on. I'm not. You lit the wrong end. I don't care. She's old enough to be your man. I know. You can't be. I am. How long's this been going on? Months. It all started the night she told me I was irresistible. I've always had this attraction to all the women. But Mrs. Barrett? Yeah, well, she's worth a few, Bob, you know. My last husband left her a lot. He won't be doing that. Well, you leave it as his yard on a bag full of washing. I still can't believe it. I know. Not like a night. Your beans are burning. 
Zeggen binnen, Keel. Keel zijn baby's. Even met de rolls en ugly. En ik vind het Keel. Je kan play voetbal. Of Liverpool. Dat is right, isn't it, Kenny? Sweet dreams, Arthur. short rest, you'll be given a cup of tea and a biscuit. And that's all there is to it. Well done. You are now a blood donor. This is Granada. Francis. Hey, Francis. Francis, wake mm. up. Shut up, Tegley. Mr. Paz, you finished at the labour club? No. It'll be a while yet. Must be costing bloody a bomb. All the drinks are on air. Eh? Why are you back so early then? I'm going to make some sandwiches for after. I uh, didn't feel much like drinking tonight. What with you and Tony and one or two other things. Why don't you go down to Wong's, get yourself some chips? You have to give us some money, man, bro. There's a pound in my pocket, take that. Scully. I've just seen a fella in your side alley. Honest. Jeffo. Really? Well, there couldn't have been. I've only just come in a minute ago and I never saw anyone. Are you sure it wasn't a shadow? Um, could have been, but, but when I asked was there anyone there, the, the shadow went right through Mrs Barrett's entrance and into her back garden. Well, if there was someone, he'd be well gone now. Um, yeah, but uh, I bet you I've saved you from being burgled, though, you know. Do you have to mention burgled, Lee? Uh, yeah, cos otherwise no-one will give me a reward. <laughs> give him 50 pence, Francis. And now clear off from under me feet, the pair of you. Let me make these sandwiches for when they come back. Yes, are you having a party? Can I come? No. Now go on, go get some chips. And take your time coming back, Francis. I want half an hour on my own. Oh, 
not right. How many other houses you try? That's all John tonight. Well, they lots. But it, they don't always give me money, though. You'd almost have me believing you there for a minute. <laughs> Good, eh? But, eh, there was someone in your alley. See you in the afternoon. I said I'll see you later. Look, here, take my money. If I'm not back after, get yourself a special. Yes. Double yes. And yes again. Your mother's not lying, young Francis. She left her purse in the club. I picked it up. I thought I heard keys inside, so I followed her behind in case she couldn't get any out. And then I invited him in for a cup of tea. That's right. Well, he doesn't drink tea. And you're a liar. You're both liars. If I'd have come round, he'd have got his fangs right in, the same as he did with Mrs Barrett. Francis, no, shut up right now. I won't shut up. And you haven't seen nothing. Not unless he goes. Shut your mouth, you have had you just about up to there. Francis, I'm warning you. I'll give you the height of your life and I'll get you inside. You can say what you want, Dracula. And you won't get me in the house, man. Not after he's been in it. I'm going. I'm going and I'm never going to come back. <laughs> All right, go ahead, run away, jump bail. You won't suffer. you never suffer. I'd be the one that'll have to pay if you jump bail. But go on, I'll fork out the 50 quid if you flake up. I mean, it'll be worth it if this is all the facts to get you, little snot. Where else do you think your mother gets her money from? From the trees, from your stupid brothers, from your fat grandmother, from your drunken father. <coughs> Ow. 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 You're getting your money's worth tonight, though, aren't you? Well, we're 50 quid. Do you have to pay for all you women, Dracula? Is that the only way you can get them? Hey! You little toe rag, come it's here! No, it's not oh, true! But it is! <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's me, ma'am. Me, ma'am's. She's had Dracula in. Oh, no. They just left the club together, so. So he was with her. He was with me, ma'am. So what? Live and let live, I say, eh, Flurry? She'll have a good time with Mr. Moss. Generous to a fault, he was. <laughs> oh, shut up, stupid. Hey, hey, now then. That is no way to talk to my fiance. Your mother's entitled to some pleasure. I don't know how she sticks it with you lots sometimes. Need a few gin and tonics to go home to that house. I do, anyway. 
Good luck to her, I say. Hey. Maybe hey. we'll have another wedding. Oh! <laughs> You're just as bad as him. You all are. You don't care about nothing, least of all yourselves. You're just stewing. That's all. Well, I'm not, and I never will. <laughs> I'm going. I am. And I'm never coming back. <laughs> Ta-ra, Dad. <laughs> ta -ra. Go on, Flory. Ta Tell me again. You know, that bit about looking like Bert Reynolds' younger brother. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, Flory. <laughs> Flory, I just had a thought. As soon as they stopped your child allowance, you'll be entitled to a pension! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's very funny. Steve, dear. No, I'm afraid he's not. Is it a meeting? Will you be long? I have absolutely no idea. Is it important? <laughs> yeah. Can I take a message? Mummy, who's there? Nobody, darling. Go back to sleep. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Pardon? <laughs> Can I take a message? No, I forget. You sure? Certain. Who shall I say called? Kenny Douglas. <laughs> Just tell him Kenny Douglas. You all right? Yeah, I'm great. <laughs> I've never felt better. <laughs> In fact, I'm going out to paint the town red. Turning the town red, turning the town red. Fox Rock 4-1, come in. Fox Rock 4-1, come in. All right, but I'm not going anywhere till I finish me pie. Getting a report of graffiti. I hate Italian food. Oh, I hate Italian food. Are you listening, <laughs> over? No, it's reported all through the estate. Someone painting Dracula bloody everywhere. Through the back of the police station, the town hall steps, the windows of the bow and arrow, forehead of a tramp in Jubilee Park, and the deep end of the outdoor swimming pool. Could you repeat that one, please? The outdoor swimming pool. It's been drained since we found a piranha fish in there. Remember? Yeah, all right. I'll keep an eye open. Back at the police station. I mean, how did they ever get away with that? I mean, what are they doing down there, I'm like, say? Not a word. You're finished now, all right? Yeah, well, that suits me. Oh, I don't know. I've quite enjoyed myself. Fox Rock 4-1. Fox Rock 4-1, where are you? Will you come in? 